this is something I honestly never really wanted to do and never thought I would have to do, but out of respect for the person, I'm going to do this. Uh, today is Sunday. It is September 22nd. Yesterday at 5 p.m., we lost Sid Haig. I got a phone call this morning from a friend who was close to uh, Susie, Sid's wife, that informed me that he passed away. Um, I know he wasn't doing that good. I know he was battling several major illnesses. I know that he also had an accident that put him in the hospital. And at one point, everybody thought he was rallying and, you know, was coming back to the old, you know, take no fucking prisoners, Sid. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Like I said, we lost him at uh, 5 p.m. on uh, the 21st. Um, I had always been a huge Sid Haig fan, um, going back to my uh, driving days, grindhouse days. With uh, originally saw him in the Women in Prison films, and uh, you know things like uh, the Big Doll House, the Big Bird Cage. Uh, Black Mama, White Mama, Savage Sisters, Wonder Woman, and all that stuff. Also films like Busting and other things where he played a heavy. Um, Sid was incredibly prolific during the 70s and 80s, but unfortunately uh, he fell off the map for a while. And then uh, I guess it was uh, Quentin Tarantino who coaxed him to come back in for a cameo. And uh, I guess it was... Uh, Jackie, no, was it Jackie? It might have been Jackie Brown. I'm pretty sure it was Jackie Brown or one of those films. But anyway, he came back for a cameo. And uh, that sort of uh, resuscitated his career. Then he went up with uh, Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. And uh, it was like, uh, you know, second coming, so to speak. Um, I was lucky enough to get to know Sid and hang out with him for a while. Um, you know, we were friendly. He had asked me at one point to um, come to Rock and Shock and uh, be his, for lack of better words, bodyguard because he had a couple stalkers and he didn't trust the promotion to properly take care of them, which they didn't. But I was Johnny on the spot for that and brought a friend of mine with me because one of the stalkers was a woman and Pete don't hit women. Luckily, nothing happened, but, you know, being working with Sid, I got to know Sid. Sid loved and cherished his fans. Sid never charged a fan when I was with him to take a picture with him with their own camera. Sid kept his autograph price very low, and if you wanted something signed that you brought up, that was also low. Uh, Sid was an incredible human being, uh, just a great guy. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, Things didn't pan out as far as a lot of these films go. You know, he just wound up doing a lot of these indie films, which didn't really pay a lot. And I guess, you know, uh, when he started, you know, his health started failing, you know, that always costs money. So he was doing a lot of conventions. Um, I originally met him when I was filming Unconventional with Chiller Theater, which he became, you know, a cameo in that film. Uh, like I said, you know, friendship stayed around for a while, but unfortunately... Uh, we lost track of each other. Uh, he recently contacted me on Facebook to say hi. And, uh, you know, hope upon hope, I thought I would, you know, run into him on the convention circuit. But unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. And unfortunately, that will never be. Um, I don't know what else to say. He, he was one of my, you know, heroes in the 70s. Because I'm, I'm a huge fan of character actors in which he was. Um, Anybody who ever met Sid walked away with a good feeling that they'd met and hung out with a good guy. Uh, I was also privileged enough to be able to hang out with him in uh, our suite at Monster Mania after hours where, you know, he told a lot of great stories. We did the traditional sharing of herbs and, um, you know, it was all, all good. The uh, reason I'm not wearing my glasses right now because I'm getting a little misty talking about this stuff because, you know... I hate to lose people, I hate to lose friends, and I hate to see the business lose a guy who was just a terrific stand-up guy as Sid Haig. And uh, right now I'd like to express my condolences to his wife Susie, his family, and the rest of his fans because to know Sid was to love him. And like I said, meeting Sid, anybody will tell you it was a positive experience. And uh, the grindhouse just lost another icon. So. Rest in peace, my friend. You will never be forgotten.